Hey everybody, I'm Holly, aka The Scientology Geek, and I just want to provide a little context before the audio on this video gets started. Um, so I found something called Notebook LM by Google, and what it allowed me to do was I was able to upload my protest points document, and based on the information contained in it, I was able to generate an AI, um, almost like podcast deep dive short conversation. Uh, it's just very interesting to me. This isn't something I plan on using for my channel down the line. This is just something I'm toying around with for my own enjoyment. Um, but I did want to show you guys the podcast of how it turned out. Because I will say it's very convincing that I would have thought that this was a real podcast. It's kind of crazy, actually. But um, I'm going to let y'all see it or listen. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. All right, so we're diving into some uh, some pretty intense stuff this time around. Hell yeah! You've you've brought us some notes <laughs> with with a, with a title that that yeah. really kind of makes you sit up and take notice. Right. Possible protest reasons. Yeah. Um. So are we talking about kind of a direct attack on on Scientology here? It seems that way, and yeah. and it's it's interesting how it's it's laid out. You know, because it's 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 like. Yeah, it's it's L. Ron Hubbard's own words yeah. and then an interpretation of those words. Right. Yeah. And then just like totally separate arguments. Yeah. It's like it's like somebody went through all the, the material. Yeah. It's like, yeah. OK, here's what I'm going to use. If I'm ever you're ever going to have a debate, I can protest this. <laughs> this is this is what we're this is what we're going to hit him with. Yeah. Exactly. And and they waste no time um, getting right to the money. Right. Um. Hubbard himself said back in 65 right. that a lifetime membership should be $75. Right. Which even in today's money, that's what, like 700 something dollars? Yeah, like 735. Okay, so still a chunk of change, but not, yeah. you know, not not unattainable. Right. But then this document's like, well, today it's five grand. $5,000. Yeah. 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 And, and that's that's quite a quite a difference isn't it yeah. and 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 not only that but it it really speaks to a larger question about like yeah. how how accessible is this belief system right if it's if it's so cost prohibitive yeah and and how does that how does that track with with hubbard's initial vision right yeah. exactly but yeah. to to fully get that we we probably need to give people a little bit of of background on how the, the the whole financial structure of Scientology yeah. works, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, the IAS. I mean, the IAS. This right. is. It's not just about being a member. It's right. about you know. Not about contributing. Contributing to the overall. To the greater, yeah, to the greater mission. Yeah. The mission, yeah, safeguarding Scientology. Right. Yeah. Um, but then they're they're quoting Hubbard again oh, from yeah. from sixty four and seventy five. Right. And he's 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 coming down on excessive fundraising. He is. Yeah. And and saying you know basically. We don't need these lavish buildings. It's mm. not about that. Yeah. Um, but yet that seems to be what this document is claiming is, is going on. Well, it's it's interesting. It's, yeah. it's almost like they're using a, a a pretty clever technique, if if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, you know, juxtaposing the founder's own words. Right. Against yeah. what they're saying is is the current practice. Right. So it's it's kind of forcing anybody reading this. Right. To, to reconcile that, wow. you know, what what has changed. Right. Um, how are those changes being justified within, you know, yeah. the, the, the greater context of, of what what Hebert initially laid out? And, and, and it gets it gets even trickier. OK. Um, when when this document goes into into auditing. OK. Um, especially with with children. And that's where things start to feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, auditing is, as, as you know, is really at the core <laughs> of, of Scientology. Right. Um. And and it's you know it's a form of spiritual counseling. It's mm -hmm. meant to help you kind of address past traumas and 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 unlock unlock your potential. Right. But this document really seems to have a problem with a specific routine. Right. Called routine zero B. Right. And they're they're really questioning, especially especially when it comes to kids. With yeah, with children. Yeah. Definitely. And that, and that's where I mean this this document does not pull punches. Okay. It it basically says flat out. That having children yeah. discuss some of the things that they're they're being asked to discuss, right, um, could be really damaging, right, um, even even bordering on abuse, right. So that's that's a strong statement. It is. It's a very strong statement. And it's it's interesting because you know obviously the the Church of Scientology, right. of course, would have a very different take on that, right. You know, they they would say that it's not about 
you know, it's not about traumatizing anybody. Right. It's about desensitizing you to to the words themselves, yeah. that, that you can remove the power of of a certain words. Right. Um, so so it's 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 interesting. It's it's two very different perspectives. Yeah. You know, on on the same the same practice. Very much so. Yeah. And and it's it's interesting how this document goes from talking about children to like yeah, control. You know, like overall control. Yeah, and 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 like you said, you know, this idea of of control within within Scientology. Right. Like they they almost set up this this contradiction right up front. Yeah. Where they they point out that like you know, the Church of Scientology says, hey, we're open to all sexual orientations. Right. But then they immediately follow that up with a quote from Hubbard himself. Right. From Dianetics. Yeah. Where he straight up calls homosexuality and lesbianism perversions. Right. And and says it's a it's an illness. Yeah. So so how how do they <laughs> how do they square that circle? Right. And and it's a it's an important question. Yeah. And it's something that that anyone looking into Scientology is going to have to kind of wrestle with. Right. But but we also have to remember, you know, yeah. Hubbard was writing at a very different time. Right. Both scientifically and socially. Of course. Yeah. So, so you know, that context is important. Yeah. But it doesn't it doesn't negate the fact right. that he said what he said. Right. Exactly. And and I think that's what the document's trying to do is is get people to really think. Yeah. OK. If those are his words, right? Do the do the actions of the church right. actually yep. line up with okay. what they're what they're saying? And and then they get into this whole idea of suppression, right? Which which again, I mean, if I if I'm remembering right, yeah, suppression in 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 Scientology has a very very specific right meaning. Yeah. Usually, when when you're talking about suppression in Scientology, right, you're talking about someone, right, or some group uh -huh. that's actively trying to prevent mm -hmm. someone from, you know improving their life or, yeah. or or progressing spiritually right but here but here the documents using that term to talk about yeah. basically you know limits on free speech right um being able to think critically okay so are they saying you can't question anything in Scientology well it's 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 a little more nuanced than that okay um I mean obviously you know yeah Scientology stresses you know right respecting other people's beliefs yeah, right right but but this document, points to, you know, yeah. Hubbard using terms like thought control, right. relationship yeah. control. Right. And and then it tries to connect those terms right. back to things that we were just talking about. Oh, like, yeah. you know, disconnecting from family members who criticize. Right. And this and this need to like align yourself completely right. with Hubbard's, with Hubbard's teachings. And speaking of Hubbard's teaching, this is where they really dive into the code of honor. Yeah. Which which I mean that's That's a big one. That's it's a big deal for them. It is, right. 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 Um and if I if I'm remembering correctly, yeah. that's that's supposed to be like yeah. your guide for for living an ethical life. Exactly. Yeah. It's about, you know, bettering yourself. Right. Living a, a, a more ethical life. Right. It's it's very important to them. Yeah. Yeah. But this document yeah. does not hold back. It goes point by point. Yeah. And breaks down how they're saying that the church itself right. doesn't even It'll follow protect its own code. The code. It's it's pretty bold. Yeah. I mean that's that's a heck of an accusation. It is. But it's it's yeah. effective. You know, it's kind of a, a classic rhetorical strategy. Right. Use someone's own or right. some group's own right. Right. you know, compass. That's their own words against them. Exactly. Yeah. Point out the hypocrisy. Yeah. And then of course they're 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 focusing on things that, that tend to get people riled up, like right. like family, yeah. um, finances. Right. Um, you know, being able to to voice your doubts. Right. Um, having control over your own decisions. Right. And and all of that leads to what what I think is is maybe the most I think you might be right. The most confrontational part of this whole thing, okay. which is how they take Hubbard's own words okay. and basically create a psychological profile. Right. Of the man himself. Of the man himself. Yeah. This this is where things get get really interesting. Yeah. Because it's it's almost like they're they're moving from. Yeah. Just critiquing the, the belief system. Right. To yeah. like, you know, taking down the, the man behind the curtain. Yeah. You know, they, they're really going after Hubbard here. And they're doing it with his own words his own words they're using his definition of what's called an antisocial personality right and and correct me if i'm wrong yeah. but that's that's like that's like the worst of the worst the yeah like the ultimate bad guy the ultimate bad guy in in scientology uh, right as much yeah yeah like like the the embodiment of evil 
You got it. And destructiveness. <laughs> and SP. That's what they call them. A suppressive person. Right. And and they're, you know, they define an SP as someone who's who's inherently destructive. Right. Incapable of real change. Right. And just constantly causing harm yeah, to others. So how do they how do they connect that back to to Hubbard? They take they take all these things that Hubbard himself said. Right. About how an SP behaves, right? Yeah. Like, you know, speaking in generalities. Right. Always spreading bad news. Uh -huh. Shifting blame. Right. And they basically say, Hubbard did all those things. So they're they're basically saying he's not just flawed. Yeah. They're saying he is by his own definition. By his own definition. The bad guy. Yeah, the villain. Wow. Yeah. Pretty pretty intense stuff. I bet. And I can't imagine that's gonna go over very well. No. If if you're someone who who really buys into, you know Right, who's a devout the the, the reverence for Hubbard. Right. You know? Yeah. But then just when you think it can't get any more intense, right. it takes a hard left turn. Oh really? It does. Yeah, it's it's like they slam on the brakes and and make a U-turn. It really is. Yeah. yeah, they go from from like you said, you know, this this take no prisoners assault on Hubbard's character right. to to suddenly speaking directly to someone right. who might be having second thoughts about Scientology. Yeah, like like almost a, a 180 in tone. A complete 180. Right. It, it gets it gets really interesting yeah. because they start talking about how, you know, yeah. doubt is normal. Right. It's okay to to question things. Yes. Even even in a belief system like Scientology, yeah. which is which is kind of wild considering how much Scientology stresses. Right. Like objective truth. Yeah. Objective truth and and verifiable data. Right. 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 But but here they are sure. saying, listen to your intuition. It's almost like they're encouraging people to yeah. to trust their gut. Trust your gut. Yeah. Even I if it goes against. Yeah, yeah. Even if it goes against what you've been taught. Wow. Yeah. And then it gets it gets kind of dark again at the end. It does when they bring up Scientology's uh, yeah their internal justice system right right which I mean and it and it all circles back to Hubbard again oh how so because they quote his writings okay about the dangers of of trusting like secular justice systems right like, like going outside the church right right to to handle these things okay, yeah and and how like getting caught up in in legal battles can yeah. be can be really damaging but then but then they bring up Danny Masterson oh wow yeah yeah so they're bringing up a, a very specific they're bringing up a very specific case yeah um and they're using that case to say right okay does does Scientology's system really protect people? Right. Are they really holding people accountable? Yeah. Like, is this is this just theoretical? Yeah. Or is this is this something real? Yeah. It's a it's a good reminder that we're not just talking about like right you know ideas here. Yeah. These aren't just abstract concepts. Yeah. These have these have real world. They have real world implications. Consequences for people. Yeah. Absolutely. It's it's kind of mind blowing when you really think about it. Yeah. How much this document covers. Right. I mean, we've we've talked about money. We've talked about the money. Yeah. <laughs> we've talked about potential abuse. Yeah. You know, restrictions on so freedom, me. freedom. Yeah. And and then they just go straight at Hubbard himself. Right. And and they do all of that. It's. It's pretty remarkable. It is pretty remarkable. Oh. And and they do all of that, like we were saying, yeah. by by using Scientology's own material. Right. Their own words against them. It's really it's really something. Yeah, it really makes you wonder. It does. How how would a a devout Scientologist right. react to this? Yeah, would they would they even read it? Right. Would they just uh, would they just dismiss it? Would they see it as as a you know yeah. an yeah. attack? Yeah. Or would they would they actually yeah. sit with it and 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 consider yeah. Yeah. what it's saying? Yeah, I mean I think that's that's a question for for all of us really. I think you're right. You know, not just Scientologists, but yeah, it's about, you know how do we how do we react? How do we deal with information that challenges what we believe? Right. Yeah. And I, I think that's a, a good place to to maybe wrap things up yeah wrap things up yeah. so so big thanks to you well thank you for for taking this deep dive with me oh it's my pleasure um this this document was was something else it really was yeah and and to our listeners out there you know yeah. we we really want to hear from you we do um what what really stood out to you yeah what what resonated did, it, did this change how you yeah did this change how you think about Think about Scientology. Yeah, about belief in general. Right, organized systems. Or even, you know, like like we were just saying. Yeah. How you deal with information that, that challenges you. Right, exactly. Yeah. All right, well, until next time.